everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss another problem but before going forward if you not like the video please like it subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when i post a new video so without any further ado let's get started so uh, the problem is you uh, sum of root to leaf binary numbers we are given the root of a binary tree where each node has value 0 or 1 so it's a binary tree it will have value 0 or 1 each root to leaf path represents a binary number starting with the most significant bit. What does this mean? That root to leaf path will represent a binary number with the most significant at the start. That is, if this is root to leaf path, then this is the most significant bit and this is the least significant bit. Right? For example, if the path is this, then this could be represented as 0. This is the most significant. This is the root. And this is the leaf, which is least significant. And in the, if you convert this to decimal, this is 30. So for all leaves in the tree, consider the number represented by path from root to that leaf. So uh, all these from root to leaf, these all are the different binary numbers. And we need to return the sum of these numbers. So, so this is just the, con this is the, like, just the constraint. So uh, let's see the input. This is a uh, test case given to us. So uh, this is root. This is root. And all these are leaves. So there are four leaves. Means there will be four uh, binary numbers. Four binary numbers. Right. So if you see, this is one binary number. One, zero, zero. One, zero, zero. One is the most significant. And zero is the least significant. Then the other number is one, zero, one. Another number is one, one, zero. And the another number is 1, 1, 1. So these four are the binary numbers. If you see this is uh, 4, this is 5, this is 6, and this is 7 in decimal. So if you add all these, you will get 12 and 12 and 11. Uh, so this will be 22, I think. Sorry, this is 11 and 11 and 15 and 7, yeah, 22. So the output, if you see, the output will be 22. So let's see how we'll approach it. We'll we'll discuss the brute force first. So see, uh, it's very easy to get the uh, this binary number. Na? We'll start from root. Where we have a let's say answer string in which we will store that binary number, which we are getting. Initially, it will be zero, uh, empty. We go to root. We add this one in this string. Then we go to this left side, left child of the root zero we add this in the string so the string will become one zero then we go again to the left side of this so we will get to this zero and then we will add this to string again and this so now we have reached the leaf node we will check what is this binary number we will convert it into decimal and we will have a sum variable let we have to like this sum variable will be initialized to zero and when we reach to this leaf, we will convert this binary string to decimal and we will add that decimal number in this. So this will be 4. So sum will become 4. This is one approach. What is problem in this approach? It's, it's, uh, it will give correct answer. Nothing wrong in the approach. What we are doing is we are finding the string and when we reach the leaf node, we convert it into binary to decimal. We are doing this now. See, reaching to this will be of n time. If we see from root to leaf so now this approach is absolutely correct nothing wrong with the approach just one thing that whenever we reach to every leaf node we have this binary string and we convert it into decimal so then we have to every time we have to uh, convert it into decimal so that will be of some complexity right so uh, at each leaf node see at each leaf node you will be doing the same thing you will be converting binary to decimal what if, what if along with the traversal, along with the traversal only, we, uh, we, we uh, calculate the value which we need to add in the sum. That means when we are traversing this binary string, uh, when we are going through the tree, then only when we reach the leaf, we have the value 4. We have the value 4 which we just simply add into the sum. Into the sum. So let's see how we'll do that. So see, now what we are trying to think is that we were earlier what we were doing we were going through the tree 
uh, till uh, from root to leaf and we were calculating the uh, binary string uh, we get the binary string and then we convert it into decimal this was this we were doing but then we think of that okay when we are traversing only then only we will find the value right so now let's see how we'll do that let's take a variable sum is it initialized to zero see we will be starting from root we'll start from root so we know that okay root will be uh, it will be like this will be zeroth index only in the string and how do we convert a binary string to a decimal see if we have something like this binary string we do this in texting and we uh, multiply this zeroth index 2 raised to power 0 and we multiply it with this value 1 similarly we do 2 raised to power this index and we multiply it with the value and similarly we have 2 raised to power this index and we multiply it by this value so this is how we calculate the des uh, binary from decimal same thing we'll be doing same thing let's see how just make this clear that whenever we get this value na, this is the zeroth bit and zeroth one is calculating using uh, is converted using this na, that 2 raised to power zeroth since it's zeroth uh, index so it will be 2 raised to power 0 into whatever here it is value and 2 raised to power 0 is 1 so it will be value only right see now we are going from this we have 1 so what we will do is we will be doing every time value will be value into 2 plus the root uh, value see how initially we will be taking value as 0 so what we are doing first of all value is 0 into 2 plus root value root value is 1 so over here we are just simply taking the value as we saw that whatever we add we are adding at the end you will understand let's let's uh, dial in first so root value is 1 so it will become 1 value will become 1 now this value will be passed to the left side value is 1 now so we will calculate this val again for this 0 so value will be a value which is 1 into 2 plus the current value root which is 0 so see this will become 2 plus 0 2 you will be thinking that why we are taking why we are not multiplying this with the 2 because uh, we are adding see this will become 1 0 0 will be added in the 0th index the least significant bit least significant bit if we convert to decimal we simply just add it we simply just add v the value because it's 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 0 is 1 so that's why we are taking only value here like we are just simply adding we are not multiplying it with 2 i hope you understood now this value becomes 2 so this will again pass to the next child and over here we will get we will again calculate this value for this 0 so value into 2 value is 2 2 into 2 plus the current value current root value which is 0 so this will become 4 so you see we have traversed this we reach the leaf and also along with it we calculated our value our uh, uh, value which will be added to sum so 4 sum will become 4 similarly similarly over here when we will when we uh, right now what we did was we have uh, from this root we go to left child now we'll go to the right child so first of all from here you will go to the right child so over here it will be value is 1 into 2 plus the root value root value is uh, this 0 right root value is 0 so this will be 2 then you will go here and for this value will be 2 then you will calculate value here so it will be 2 into 2 plus 1 1 is the root value so this will become 5 so see 1 0 1 1 0 1 it's 5 right so you will add this 5 and you will get 9 similarly you will go and you will do for this and you will go and do for this so what's the logic behind what's the uh, thinking behind this is see every time we have initially 1 then we had 1 0 then we have 1 0 0 so whenever the new bit 
whenever the new bit new number is adding first of all it's adding at the lowest bit lowest significant bit right that is one thing so since it it is adding at the lowest significant bit we will just simply whatever the current value is we will add that root value to it just simply add or you can write it 2 raised to power 0 also but 2 raised to power 0 is obviously you know 1 so that's why we are not writing it root value now why we are multiplying this this with value because we uh, this is we are doing left shift see why we are multiplying it with 2 if you know about left shift uh, 1 0 0 like if this is uh, let's say we have this this number we have and 0 will come and then it will become 100 so what we are doing is we are doing this numbers left shift so that this position becomes empty so we are do we are shifting each bit by one position to the left and then we add the zeroth uh, number which comes at the lowest uh, this lowest significant bit so since we are doing left shift left shift means to uh, to shift uh, the bit by one so if we do this like this is our current number and we do its left shift by one why by one because left shift is x is left shift by one it means 2 raised to power y into x so that means we are uh, we over here what we are doing we are this is our x and this is our y so 2 raised to power y means uh, 2 raised to power 1 into current number right so what we are doing we are multi we are uh, the current number is multiplying by 2 and uh, like this this is the current number we are multiplying it by 2 why multiplying because we are doing left shift so that this position becomes empty and then we add the whatever the current root value at that position so i hope you understood what i am trying to tell like i am trying to tell why this formula we are using over here so this is for the left shifting so that the position becomes empty and this is we are uh, adding that bit so its value we are adding so uh, let's see the code quickly once if you have any doubt let me know in the comments uh, I, I know it's a bit confusing for someone who doesn't know about left shift but again watch the video and do some research on left shift you'll understand so this is some root to leaf form uh, function and over here we are given root and we have taken a value which is initially uh, zero if the root uh, is not null if if the root is null we'll return zero otherwise we'll calculate the value and if the uh, if it is the leaf node like this will means this means that it is leaf node so if leaf node is there just return this value otherwise do the left call pass the value and do the right call pass the value and we will add them whatever the result will come from these two for example from from this end um, from this side we got 4 and from this side we got 5 so we'll do 4 plus 5 and we'll pass 9 here similarly from this side you will get a 6 and from this side you will get 7 and then you will pass 30 right so i hope you understood it let's discuss the time complexity so see we are calculating in the earlier approach we were uh, calculate we are converting uh, binary to decimal every time so that was not efficient so over here we are calculating the value along with the traversal so the time complexity will be o of n and the space complexity since we are not using any extra space just the recursive calls are there but since uh, there is a recursive stack so for that max calls at a time will be o of h where h is the height of tree height of tree because at, because at a time either left call will be there for any level or right call will be there for any level level right that means uh, if you see uh, let's take if this is the tree right like this is the tree if we are going left 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 so one recursive call of left other recursive call of left and then so this is the height number of calls if height three is the height three calls will be at max in the recursive stack so i hope you understood the problem if you like the video please like it subscribe to my channel any doubts please uh, let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next video thank you